Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I show you how you can save in Cubase and Nuendo a lot of time. This hidden feature is a real lifesaver for me. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is a little loop. And now we got a customer and the customer says, I want to have less distortion at the piano. Okay, we go to the effects and reduce gain. Now let's hear it. Okay, now I save this. And later on, we got some editings at the drums, at some vocals and so on. And then the customer comes and says, well, I like the first sound from the piano more than now. Please go to the old settings. And then I go to here and say, well, I don't know what has been my old settings. Um, let's try it. But sometimes there are a lot more. You edit some inserts, you change all the settings and so on. And some people say, well, you can go to here and save this and you can go to the channel strips and save, but you won't do this. And how should you name them? So here is the solution. I press Command Alt S. Did you see something? Once again, have a look at here at the top. And Endor and Cubase are just saving at the new version number. It's like I go to File, Save As. Now I go and type in number three. But when you do this by hand, save as, and yes, you can use a key command, but then you got to, to type in your number. It It's so time consuming, so you won't do this. And let's have a look at the project folder. Here you can see it, just new project files. And now I can do some editings. And now I add the chorus and save it again. Now we get the number four. And then the customer comes and says, well, I like the sound of version three more than version four. Okay, so we got a few options. We can close this project and we can go to the version three and check the, the settings, or I go to File, Import, Tracks from Project. I go to here, to the version three. Let's import the piano. And now here is the piano from version three. This is, let's say, version four and version three. And now we can switch. And for me, this is a real time saver. So you can ask your customer well, okay, you said the, the last version, what has been the number of the version? So when I go to export and audio mix down, I love the naming scheme. And then I add the project name at the beginning or the end. So I can ask my customer, what is the version number? Then he can tell me the version number. Sometimes it's better than uh, the day or, or the date. And then you can have a look at the right version. And I like it more than auto save or, or auto backup because 
I can choose when it's saving because most of the time it says when I don't want it, when I don't like it. And um, it's better f for me, in my opinion. And sometimes when I got real, real big changes, let's say I save it here and vocal recordings. And when you've done this, you got to be very careful because when I'm pressing Command or S, you see, it's not adding um, the number six. So right now we are going to use save as, and now we add number six. So you got to do this manually one time. We got number six and we got this. And this is really great because you can go back, you can see what happened. You got a lot of backups. You can see in, in here, here are a lot of versions. The older versions are in here. I always can go back when something happened. Let's say a new plugin is not working anymore and I can load in the project so I can go back and for me this is a, a real time safer and, and, and life safer. I hope I could help you. When you like the video please give me a thumb up. When you got a question just leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new episode. See you then next time.